on to a spirited debate over new curriculum created to teach Oklahoma students about Tulsa's 1921 race riot. Two Works She reporter Ashley Holt helps us celebrate Black History Month with a lesson on the city's complicated history. John Hope Franklin Park tells a story. One of the people and their accomplishments, their hope, burned to the ground. You can't really understand the history of this state unless you look at it and look at the role that race has played. Last week, Senator Kevin Matthews and the 1921 Tulsa Race Riot Commission unveiled a curriculum to teach Oklahoma students about the city's historical shift. One of the first questions on the curriculum is, is it a riot or was it a riot or was it a massacre? A conversation that's been happening for years that also found its way back to Greenwood this weekend. After sponsoring beautification efforts throughout Greenwood, the commission decided to sign this bridge with its original name. But after getting feedback from the community, it decided to erase riot and replace it with massacre. But what neither side of this debate is okay with is whoever decided they wanted to erase the story altogether. What happened was indeed a true massacre. Tolson's worry the true context can get lost in that one word. Booker T. High teacher John Waldron says the word is significant. Well, I think the suggestion uh, that it was a riot is that it originated in Greenwood. That somehow the people of Black Wall Street destroyed their own community. The violence was mostly committed in Greenwood against Greenwood by people from other parts of town. Senator Matthew says he's open to working on the curriculum. Educators like Waldron say getting it right is imperative. The past isn't dead. It's not even past if we're not willing to have a conversation about it. He says what we should all want is to make sure reconciliation is reached so Tolsons can eventually say, despite the hard lessons of the past, we survived. From Tulsa, Ashley Holt, Two Works For You. Senator Matthews says anyone can join the race riot committee or give input, and he invites constituents to a public forum this Thursday. It's at 6 in the evening at the Rudisill Regional Library.